Let me guess, you want to start your fitness influencer journey, but you know how, but you know what, but you have a social anxiety that people will judge you, think what you are doing, and so and so. If this is you, you are on the right place. But first of all, let me introduce. Hi guys, my name is Chris Filipsik. I'm 18 years old guy from Slovakia. We started doing uh, fitness content. First of all, today I'm gonna uh, share with you like my journey, how I started, what I learned, some tips, tricks, and how to start your fitness influencer journey. So let's hop into the video. Basically, first of all, uh, I started going to the gym in like uh, August 2020, and from that moment, I used to watch every fitness influencer, you know. And I was all the time thinking how good it will be to do this and make a living as this and so and so on. But the first thing which I made was in June 2022 and it was like I started doing like, let's call it Instagram fitness page, you know. Uh, basically it means I started in like June on May 2022, I'm not sure exactly when. I started like adding some photos from the gym, from the like random life, you know, and these things like once per week, I would say, once per two weeks. This is like the first thing we just started. I did this like till August and at this time it was so uh, feel weird for me to like, you know, ask some friend, the, you can take me photo here and here. And one of the things I feel so embarrassed, I don't know why, when I was putting like stories, you know, or just basic stories, like put something on story. And I don't know why I have this social anxiety on like, uh, social platforms, I don't know why, but it was basically all. But then in the August 2022, my friends started doing like, you know, the TikTok, but from totally other niche. And I was thinking like, I was going with him to the gym and I was like, we should record something or you should record me at the gym, you know, did some clips. And then, as you saw, as you know, I just did some TikTok clips, you know, he recorded me while I was working out. We add some text, add some music, and so and so on these sheets I started with TikTok. It took me literally like two days to set the profile. I was like, do I want to do it? What do my friends think about me? And I don't know if someone will discover the... I was like, I don't know why I have like so big social anxiety that I don't know, my friend, my classmates will be like, hey, here I saw you on TikTok. Uh, I don't know what the fuck. Like. I don't know why. It never happened, but maybe like one, two times. Some asshole, my classmate or my friends was like, oh, I saw a TikTok in this video, uh, you know, just, there are people like this, but that's totally not the thing. It was like from the August till September, I was like one day doing, you know, this TikTok, uh, going with friends to the gym and so and so on. And I feel so weird, you know, where I have first bought my tripod, it was like in August, because sometimes when I didn't go to the gym with my friend, I just basically, you know, just put here the tripod, put here mobile and you know I just started you know doing exercise and I feel so weird you know I was like focusing on exercise and I was like is someone watching, is someone like judging? I don't know why but trust me no one is judging you, no one cares about you if you put the tripod here and put the mobile there or the camera yes some people will look at you like what is this? but after five seconds they will forget that you even exist and they will be go back to your workout so it's not gonna happen, but sometimes it can happen, you know, people are people in general, you know, some people which can go to and like, what are you doing, uh, you know, there are some people like this, but it's like one from 10 millions, it's, it never happened in my <laughs> very long career, which is like eight months, but it never happened, so just no one is judging you don't care about this, no one cares about you, everyone cares about their workout, they maybe sometimes look at you, but they after 5 seconds forget that you even exist. Then in the September I was still like doing my TikToks and all these things and I also started doing like, you know, on Instagram, but I was like more putting, you know, the stories on the Instagram, more the pictures, I also started doing like reels, basically I was re-uploading from TikTok to the Instagram, you know, doing these reels and all these shits, just also to grow my Instagram, let's call it. And yeah, but then, then also happened like, you know, some of my friends and classmates were like, were like making fun of it and, you know, just, you know, it is like childish uh, fun. Like, uh, this I opened Instagram and I saw your TikTok and, uh, and your real and your story. Uh, you are you are just putting your photos on the Instagram and you are like flexing. Uh, these are people, they will say it once too. And then they are like, 
I, they don't care, you don't care, just it will happen, but it's, I, I would say, normal, so, yeah. It was like little October, and finally, it was like October 2022, like 29th October, or something about that, I finally released my first YouTube video. Yo, what is up guys, Chris Philips here, hope you are having a beautiful, fantastic day, and today we are gonna show, and like, about this video, I want to talk more. It was like normal day and it was like 3 p.m. and I was like, I'm doing TikTok, I'm doing this Instagram reels and all these things. Why I shouldn't do YouTube and focus on the YouTube on as main platform or record some videos and grow some audience here and, and so on and so on. But basically it started first like I was here in my room going with tripod from one corner to another corner, drifting here like I don't know what the fuck. And I was thinking where I should put my phone, how should I put it, what, how the lighting should look like, exposure, what I should say, how should I say it, I don't know how and why. But most important thing, guys, after like two hours, like total idiot, I was like going through the whole room, putting the phone in every corner and every area of the room. I finally put it like this, and then I started like, hey, hello guys. Yo, what is up guys, Chris Philips here, hope you are having a beautiful, fantastic day. That's why so on, just I've basically started with the most crucial thing, just start. Yes, at the beginning you will feel so weird to put like camera or phone in, in front of you and like talking to the, but that's total normal thing, you will learn how to talk and you will get comfortable after time, it's total normal thing, you will feel like weird, some little bit anxious about this, but it's normal thing after time it will be better you can check my first youtube video it's total trash the edit how i'm look, how i'm talking how everything is bad everything i would say but at least i started it was the first video after that i made another video what is up guys chris Philips here hope you are having a beautiful fantastic day oh i just woke up like 20 minutes ago that's why i'm looking like this but we are gonna show the legs I learn from my mistakes, which is like the best thing to learn from a mistake. You will like, okay, I can add some transition here, I can do better lightning, and so and so and so. And one good thing you can inspire from others. There are a million other fitness content creators, which are, I don't know, they have like better edit here, they are doing this, this, and you can inspire and look how they are doing it. And you can try. Another thing, you don't need special gear. Guys, I was recording basically with my phone with my iphone i was recording the whole youtube like three weeks ago i bought this camera i only have like three videos or two i don't know three or two videos with this camera and you don't need special equipment you don't need special tripods you don't need you know 200 dollars lightning here and here and all these things just the most important thing is to start and start doing this no matter what and another tip which I want to share with you is like how to overcome the social anxiety, you know, because when you are recording in your room or in the living room or whatever, or whenever you are recording, yeah, it's like comfortable, you know, I'm sitting here, I have a camera in front of you, no one is there, no one is just disturbing me, no one is looking at you, no one is judging, yes. But if you want to be fitness influencer and you want to also record at the gym or doing like, you know, the basic vlogs and record on the street, Guys, nobody cares about what you are doing. Nobody's gonna judge you. Nobody's gonna come come to you and say like, oh, what are you doing with the camera and so on. And guys, nobody cares. Some people will look at you like, what is he doing? But after three seconds, they totally forget that you even exist and they will go their own way. So don't be embarrassed. Just take your camera or phone, put it like this, go through the street. Do your vlogs, do whatever you want. No one cares about you and no one is gonna judge you. Just do it. I know it's uh, easy to talk about this, but you need, this is something which you need to practice. You need to go outside, put the camera or the best thing, which would be, guys, go to the shopping mall or to the square where there's millions of people. Put the camera behind you and go through the hall, I don't know, the shopping mall on the square or where is the lot of people. Go through that 
put the camera in front of you and start talking to the camera yes it will feel so bad at the first time it will be so bad you will be so anxious yes yes it happened to me also but you just need to overcome this fear and after time and time it will get better and better yes also for me at the gym till now it's not the best feeling you know to put the camera and talk with and someone is recording me but no one at the gym is care about me and judging me so you can do it yes it's something what you need to learn but practice this if you practice this guys you you basically won't so the main points which i want to share with you like summary you don't need a special equipment just start as i said with your phone buy some tendal tripod overcome your social anxiety no one is judging you no one cares about you guys do your own things so no one cares about this yes this still will be like your classmate or someone from you know someone you know who will be like oh i saw your videos and it's like they are as old like this but don't care about it so yeah basically i hope this video was helpful for you guys uh in another video i want to do also a video like this was like how to start your fitness influencer journey and another video i want to do like the tips how to you know get better some uh how to grow it, some, you know, just growing strategy, how to grow it, how to perform, how to, and all these like more detailed tips. This is like basically how to, how to just start. So yeah, it's all for today's video. So hope you enjoyed it, learned something. If you're on the channel, subscribe to the channel, smash the like, smash the like button and see you in the next one. Peace. And if you are still wondering if you should start, guys, start, that's the best thing. Just put the camera in front of you or take it to the gym and just put the record to it. You will thank me later, so that's all. Peace.